Good morning YouTube. Welcome to Dude RV. It is February 3rd, 2021. And can you believe <laughs> Look at how beautiful this day is? It's supposed to be 72 degrees today and tomorrow 70 and then the next day 65. So that's three great days to be in the RV. And so I'm going to head north gonna take you across the Red River again we're gonna go into Oklahoma and we're gonna visit some campgrounds on Lake Texoma so from right here at RV base camp we're headed to Johnson Creek Lake Texoma let's get on the road and go Well, here we are, Johnson Creek, Lake Texoma. What a beautiful view. What a beautiful view from site number 42. We are in a Corps of Engineer campground on Lake Texoma. And as you can see, on Wednesday, there's not too many people camping. Wednesday, February 3rd. The first thing I want to point out about site number 42 is backwards. Number, the second thing I want to point out about site number 42 is actually the whole campground itself. It's like right next to the highway. And it's, it's loud, but I'm only going to be here one night. And it was, this was rather an impromptu I just decided to do this yesterday. So, spur of the moment. Site number 42 is, is pretty dang level. It's an asphalt pad. And during the summer, it would have some shade because of that oak tree. It is water and electric. And they're all water and electric, 50 and 30. Make sure you've got a pretty long hose because the water's, that's a 20 foot hose. So the water's 20 feet away. I'm right next to the group pavilion, but I don't expect any groups today. So we have a concrete table, a fire ring with a cooking grate on it and the camp stove table it's a really flat site i'm really excited about that mobility friendly all right so i'm gonna gather up some camera and gear get i gotta get some light <laughs> gather up some camera gear deploy little red and we're gonna go check out johnson creek stay tuned more to come i frequently get a lot of questions down in the comments about little red and how i transport how i get little red in and out of the back of the truck so i thought i'd share that with you i've outfitted the truck with a false floor i've got tie down points 
so that I can make sure the little red doesn't move around. And then the ramp just stows under that board, piece of plywood. So let me pull her out uh, and I've got another camera over here so you can see me do it. That's it, we've deployed a little red. Well, it seems that Johnson Creek is mostly closed off. Uh, I'm not sure if that's just because of the season or if it's because of the whole COVID thing, but man, what a pretty little campground. We've got a bluff view of this part of Lake Texoma. That highway over there is the only thing I don't really care for. All right, let's, let's go see what other stuff we can get into here at Johnson Creek. Well, here we are. Where are we? Johnson Creek on Lake Texoma, the Oklahoma side. Man, it is really windy today. I thought I'd come down here and pay a visit to the oh this is a fishing permitted dock as well the last time we were at Texoma the the water was so low the fishing dock courtesy dock was sitting on the on the dirt that's that noisy highway Not a whole lot to see here. All right. We'll head on back up to the RV. Here we are, Johnson Creek Park. All the boaters have come in and headed home. They all had fishing poles hanging off the back of their boat, so that leads me to believe that the fish are no longer biting if they were ever biting to begin with. If it were not for the road, this would be a beautiful little park. It is a beautiful little park. It's just got that irritating highway noise. With my National Parks card, my access card, this site cost $7 tonight. I found a couple of places between here and the Oklahoma or the Texoma State Park where you could boondock. And so just, just so you know, if, if you're into dry camping and boondocking and you're traveling on the north side of Lake Texoma, on the east side of the Eisenhower Bridge, there's a road that goes south. There's a place down there where you could probably you can spend the night. Uh, it looks like it gets a lot of a lot of party activity though. And then just as you turn to go into the Lake Texoma State Park, there there's a very large parking lot I, apparently there was 
something of significance there at one time. Uh, but this, it's all empty now and the grass is starting to grow up through it. But that would be a good place to dry camp. Boondock. I think we're pretty well, I'm pretty well done for the day. I'm going to pack it in. And in the morning, I'll pick it back up. We're going to move back south. Got a really cool park I'm going to go visit tomorrow. Actually, I'll be visiting two parks tomorrow but camping at one of them. So we'll cut back in after this very cool time lapse. Enjoy. Well, that brings us to the end of our visit here at Johnson Branch on Lake Texoma. To give you a recap, it's loud. <laughs> I, I listened to the highway all, all night last night, and uh, it, this is not a destination. Unless, unless you're a boater, it's, it's really not a destination. So it's a great waypoint stop, but it's like sleeping in a truck stop parking lot with all the cars all just going by all night. It uh, kind of quieted down a little bit last night, but now if you're a boater, it's a pretty park. If you can get into the sites back over there, on the way back there, the road noise isn't quite as loud, uh, but we're done here. We're gonna load up and head about six miles south. We'll still be in Oklahoma, but we're gonna go down to Lakeside, which is another Corps of Engineer campground. Uh, so <laughs> it'll be a, it'll be a quick driving video. All right. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I sure appreciate you stopping by. And please consider clicking on the subscribe button and remember to hit that bell as well. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so very much. I'm so deeply honored. All right, y'all come back now. You hear?